Hello, my friends. Today I have another, um, this will be another Russian video here. Um, this will be, um, yeah, another elementary Russian video with, with uh, Lao Shu. So those of you who are um, learning Russian, you may find this, vi this video useful. Okay, you guys be studying Russian with me. How about that? Okay, so you take what's useful out of here. Whatever you take this useful stuff out of here, you learn from. Okay, we are all learning. So, uh, yeah, before I to get started on this, I would like to show you guys. This will probably be a lengthy video, but I would like to show you guys these resources. I know I've probably showed you before, but many of you probably haven't seen them yet. So, um, the, a lot of the Russian resources, I pretty much this is what I'm using for learning Russian, or I've been using for learning Russian. And you have this, uh, this is a Teach Yourself Russian. And I would recommend you guys to get this Teach Yourself. This is very good, okay, as usual. All right. Oh, it's a little blurry there. Got to focus in. All right, there you go. So this book here, this is the Russian Teach Yourself. All right, and it's, it's, uh, it's very good. It's very good. It comes with audio, of course. I really love Teach Yourself. I really do. I love Teach Yourself, okay? So that's Teach Yourself, and I don't really have, I don't have, big, these are the dictionaries I have for Russian. I, uh, I bought this a while back from Ohio State. It's a small dictionary. I'm pretty sure there are better dictionaries out there, but this is all I have for now. And this dictionary, I got this dictionary from Peter Brown. He sent this to me along with some other, um, well, a whole bunch of books he sent me. He, he sent me this uh, this Russian dictionary. I didn't even realize he sent this. I was going through the box of books he sent, and this was at the bottom of the box. So I, I actually like this dictionary better than this one. Of course, it's bigger. So these are the two dictionaries I have for Russian. All right, and this is Oxford too. I love Oxford. All right, so you have those, and. Uh, this Shams grammar book is good. I think I made a video on this before too. I have one for Japanese. This is a good book for reference, uh, referring back. You're gonna need this for Russian, I tell you. I mean, there's just, uh, I don't like to study grammar myself, but Russian and languages like Russian and, uh, languages like Russian and Arabic, you really have to have a grammar reference. You just need that stuff. Not to say you focus on grammar the whole time, but you're gonna need it. Because, I mean, it's just, trust me, you're going to need it. But, um, yeah, that Shams grammar book is good. Okay, when you want to refer back to cases or whatever, especially, yeah, this, yeah. And uh, I talked about these books before, the Nachala. These are your best friend, okay, for beginners. This this book, these books, this, this is actually what they use at Ohio State. I'm not sure what other... Um, universities will use this textbook but this is a very good textbook okay very good I would recommend getting this textbook here okay so this is like book one this is book one and then there's book two all right I don't know if Uzi has this, has these books but if they do and you don't have the money and I would definitely recommend getting these because they are very very useful for Russian I'll tell you that right now. I will not lie about these things. These two books here, you, you might want to get these. If you're learning Russian, if you if you plan to learn Russian in the future, you, I think you better get these two books. Make sure you get these and get the teach yourself, okay? I like to use a number of resources while studying the language. I don't like to just work from one resource. I, although I like teach yourself, I like to use a number of other resources at the same time. Okay, so let's get started on this. Uh, on this uh, elementary lesson here, see what we have. All right. So basically, what we're going to talk about today is the numbers. Okay. Um, Russian has these rules as, as usual. Um, I'm going to just talk about the numbers under five because they have like uh, anytime you use these numbers with nouns. You have to, they, they will go into the genitive case. And we talked about genitive, genitive case before, so it's perfect to talk about these numbers. But today, I'm just going to go ahead and do, oh shoot, I need my marker. I'm going to just go ahead and talk about uh, numbers one, with all the numbers 
all of the numbers under five, okay? All of the numbers under five. I'm trying to find my marker here. Oh well, I, I have this. This is a real one. So all the numbers, all of the numbers under five, and what? So the numbers under five. Um, okay, when you use these numbers, can it, when you use these numbers, you're gonna have to use the genitive. That's that's the rule. When you use these numbers with nouns, okay. And uh, speaking of genitives, I would like to go over. I didn't mention these before, but um, like uh, when you use the genitive case, you have a number of words. A number of words you will use these when you will use these genitive cases. Okay, so quantity words, uh, quantity words. Um, yeah, quantity words. When you say a, a lot, a few. Um, let's see, a bottle of, um, like that quantity words, okay? That's when you use the genitive case. I made an example sentence here. Um, I have, near hoche tza beat. Yeah, near hoche tza beat. Butilka soka. Near hoche tza beat. Butilka soka. So I want to drink a bottle of juice, okay? So butilka is a bottle, like when you want to say a bottle of something. So butilka you need to use the genitive case here and soak I believe soak is the is the masculine soak is the masculine for juice and when it's genitive case if it ends with a consonant you have to add an I so that's why we have I here soka so niahoche beat butilka soka all right okay so in B we have after certain prepositions so we have a number of prepositions uh, that will use this genitive case so we have we have um, <clears throat> we have bez without dilia for da until before as far as ease from out of at away from uh, post it after uh, yeah after so those prepositions there um, they, those you will use genitive case okay and I've made an example sentence here using this uh, which one did I use I think I used after yeah I used after Okay, so let's give this a shot. Okay, um, posting a robot, yeah, I do cut Yeah, posting a robot, yeah, I do cut them up. My dear Bushi, posting a robot, yeah, I do cut them up. My dear Bushi, dear Bushi. So, um, after work. After work, I'm going to my my girls or my woman's. You can say like going to my girl's house or my woman's house or something like that. So post in a ya idu kadomu my So we have postly it is after postly enough. And as I mentioned before, after this is uh, this preposition here after we rabota is the uh, it's a feminine word rabota. So we add the U, drop that I and add U because it's genitive case. Alright? And then now we have Ya do Kadomu my Diyawushi. So I go to in a direction to the house of my Mai. This is some more genitive stuff here. Mai um Kamai Diyawushki. Okay, so like <clears throat> Diyabushka is uh Diyabushka is the um is a woman, it's a feminine of course, so we had to add this uh, this U again because we're dealing with, uh, we had to add this U again because uh, we're dealing with the genitive, All right? So that's the example sentence I came up with, okay? Now, uh, oh boy. Hmm. Yeah, capture screen again. All right. So, um, so those are some examples, and it's using those genitives now. Now, we want to talk about these numbers, these, these numbers here. So first of all, let's look at dva, number two, okay, dva, all right? You have to note that dva is, you use dva for masculine and neuter nouns, okay? Dva is used for masculine and neuter nouns, all right? But when you... 
when you have feminine nouns before feminine nouns, it will turn into a devia, okay? Devia. Genitive, and then it will be the uh, genitive singular. Whatever the noun is, is we're going to put that in the genitive singular. So, again, deva is used for masculine and neuter nouns, and devia is used for, is used before feminine nouns, all right? Um, let's see here. So, I here are two, two uh, examples here. Um, you have uh, billet, billet, I believe it's a masculine, and then pismo, pismo is a, is a neuter, okay? So you have, um, so dva, remember I told you that dva is used for masculine and neuter nouns, so billet is masculine, so we use dva, so two tickets, dva, uh, dva billeta, we add an a, why? Because it's genitive case, a has to be added. It ends with a consonant, so you have to add the I for the genitive case. So, dva, dva billeta, two tickets. Okay, and in this one here, dva pisma, dva pisma, two letters. The original was pisma, it was a different, um, it was spelled like this. Pisma, and this letter changed to the accent in I. Okay, so we have that for the genitive. All right, so, and I just put two, three, four, these, we're just, we're talking about these now, this is like numbers less than five will be genitive singular, okay? So, example sentence is using these, okay? My first example sentence will go, let's, let's look at what we have here. Um, okay, devie rabote, devie rabote. Now, you notice the devie here, what's our rule for devie? We use devie here because it's a feminine noun. Now, we know that rabota means job, right? You know, oh shoot. You know, you know rabota, that, that's job. So what, what happened? What happened? So we have two jobs. So what's gonna happen is we have devia rabota. Rabota becomes i, genitive case. All right. So we have this genitive singular here. Genitive. We have this genitive here. Okay. Devia rabota. Okay. So, umenya mnoga dienghi. Pada mushka umenya devia rabota. Umenya mnoga dienghi. Pada mushka umenya devia rabota. So I have a lot of money because I have two jobs. I have a lot of money because I have two jobs. So again, devie, two jobs, devie, raboti. So die has to be used here because this is, this is originally, this is a, um, a feminine noun, okay? So rabota becomes raboti, or this uh, genitive, all right? So, okay, the second example, what do we use here? Um, Oh, we use the um, the deva for the uh, masculine neuter. I think that was it. Okay, all right. So, umenya deva billeta i abulu yechat vekino. Paetamu vetoje moje de yechat samnoi. Umenya deva billeta i abulu yechat vekino. Paetamu vetoje mojete yechat samnoi. All right. So all we had here, we just had the uh, we had dva, we had dva, and then we had dva bileta, dva bileta. Two tickets. All right. Two tickets. Two tickets. So I have two. I have two tickets, and I will go. I will go to the cinema, kino. I will go to the, the, the cinema. Therefore, you you could also you, you could also come with me. Some noise. So we have some instrumental case here also, and some accusative all mixed up. So I go. So I have two tickets. I have two tickets. Therefore, you could also. I have two tickets, and I'm going to go to the cinema. Therefore, you can come with me. Okay. So we had dva again. Masculine neuter is dva number two. We have two tickets, so b, b, lieta. And again, b, 
bilet, his ticket, and now it's gender case, we had to add this I. So, dva bileta, two tickets, all right? And uh, yechat, uh, yeah, yechat, this is for like you go somewhere. Remember before we had idu, actually, this one, iti yechat, to go. But uh, but oh, this one I'm talking about, this is not iti. Yeah, iti and yechat. Uh, iti is used for going somewhere on foot, and yechat is used for going by vehicles, okay? In this case, we're gonna go by car, so I use yechat, I'm gonna go by car. All right, and vukino, vukino, um, to the cinema. So we have accusative here. It's o. Okay, yeah, this accusative. I don't even think that changed actually, but to the cinema. <clears throat> and paetamu, uh, therefore vi toje moji did. You're able to yechat again yechat samnui. This is instrumental case with me. <coughs> samnui. All right. Okay, so let's move on to this last one here. All right, so what do we have here? Oh, we had devia again. So devia again. We had devia, and when when do we use devia? We use it before feminine nouns. All right, and in here, nidiali. Okay. All right, this nidiali is like in a. It's like a nidialia is the weak. It's a weak, but e changes to to ya changes to e here okay so uh i think that's all we had here oh okay okay i just made a long response okay let me read this kagda ya dvie ne dieli tamuna yeah kagda ya dvie ne dieli tamuna za strechas mai or smoy not smoy but Smoy drugom drugom katori toje izuchayet ruski on kievo druzam skazal sto navirna nam navirna nam grazde liekchi vyuchit ruski yzik or ruski ye ruski yzik chem in vyuchit angliski no pamoyemu Okay. Kagda ya dvie ne dieli tamu nazat vstreja smoy drugam. Katori e toje izuchayet ruski on kievo druzam skazal što na vierna nam grazde liekci vyuchit ruski jezik čim im vyuchit angliski no pamoyemu kak bonjetak. All right, I love making these type of uh, responses. I love this. This is extra practice. Okay, so okay, so now again, dvie ne dieli tamunazat. So two weeks. So dvie ne dieli, two weeks. All right. Uh, when se kada ya dvie ne dieli tamunazat. So two weeks ago, when I met with my friend, kada ya dvie ne dieli tamunazat. Vstreja smoy druga. So two weeks ago, when I met with my friend, who's also Katoria uh, Toje Izuchayet, friend who's also studying uh, Ruski, studying Russian, on Kievo Druza, he to his friends Skazalsto said he said to his friends, "Na birna nam grazda liekche vuchi Ruski ezi." He said to his friends that it may be it may be a bit. It may be much easier for us to learn Russian than um, yeah. It may be easier, a bit, a bit easier for us to learn Russian than it is for you to learn um, English. But in my opinion, I don't think that's the. I don't think it's like that. I don't think. I don't think that's the case. Or I don't agree with that. It's not like that. Okay. So all we had here was um, we had dvie nedieli two weeks. So two weeks ago dvie nedieli tamunazat. Two weeks ago, when I met with my friend, who was also studying Russian, he he said to his friends, or told to his friends, that um, perhaps it is much easier for us to learn Russian than it is for you, for you, for them, for them to learn English. But in my opinion, I don't think that's the case. I believe that uh, I believe Russian is 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 definitely a difficult language. Um, English is probably easier. 
okay. I mean, I know I'm a native speaker of English, but Russian is, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so that's the first part, and I have some more stuff on the, on the, uh, on the uh, smaller board. All right? So I hope I explain everything clear enough for you guys to understand. So we're just basically, you don't have to learn all this at one. I mean, I put some, I put some useful stuff there for you guys if you want to learn it. Some, some extra words and stuff, useful words. But mainly, we're we're focusing on this. Uh, we're focused on this these uh, these numbers. How you use these numbers with nouns and put them into the genitive case. All right. So over here on this board, uh, I want to talk about this the uh, the adin, the number one. Okay. And in Russian, the adin acts as an adjective. So not only does it act, the not only does it act as an adjective, it, it has to agree with the noun, just like any other adjective. Okay. So we have adin, we have adna, and adno. All right. Hope it's so you guys can see that's getting dark. Okay, so number one. All right. Um, let's see. What do we have here in this first sentence? Uh, what do we use? Okay. All right. And another thing, when you uh, let's see, genitive, plural, adjective, genitive, singular, masculine, neuter. Okay, that's basically talking about um, when you have, let's see here, when you have, uh, like let's say, the, the numbers the numbers less than five, all right, the numbers less than five, you wanna, they're gonna be into, they're gonna go into this genitive plural, the genitive plural adjective, and a genitive singular uh, masculine, masculine neuter, Gen, gen yeah, genitive singular masculine neuter. So in the first sentence here we have uh let's see um let's see to me that ya ya kupil at nu kanigu dilia mai vodruga okay so uh let me read the first one let me read the first one okay dvie ne dieli tamunazat ya kupil at nu kanigu dilia mai vodruga dvie ne dieli tamunazat Ya kupil ad nu kanigu dilia mayevo druga. So this here is, um, let's see, two weeks ago, we just had a similar sentence. Two weeks ago, I bought one book for my friend. I bought one book for my friend two weeks ago. So as you can see here, atna, it agreed with the noun, noun in the case, because kupil um, is an accusative, okay? Kanigu is the direct object. Okay, so we have to, because of uh, kupil, we have to add that u. A becomes u. All right, because this is this is accusative. This is accusative case. All right. So, I bought a book from my friend two weeks ago. All right. Let's see the next one we have. See actually. All right, so when you when you now when you want to talk about the adjective, okay, that's what that went to. We should have waited to read that, but when you're dealing with adjectives, like you want to say one interesting book, two interesting books, like that, this is going to be genitive plural, okay, adjective, genitive plural. All right, so the adjective is going to be you want to put that take the adjective and put it in the genitive plural. <clears throat> All right. And the genitive singular, the genitive singular will be um, masculine and neuter. The masculine, neuter. the masculine and neuter will go into the genitive singular. All right. So let's look at this next one here. Diasvidiona. Uh, yeah, diasvidiona. I think I spelled diasvidiona wrong. Diasvidiona umenya tri intiriesnih ruskih kanigi deliavas. This video now will mean three, three in tiriesnih ruskih kanigi deliavas. So actually, I have three interesting Russian books for you, for you all. I think I spelled this video now wrong, but I will correct that when I put my video up. Um, so, hold on for a second. Okay. All right, so um, so as you can see, we have we dealing with this adjective now. Adjective, we have, we dealing with adjective and numbers. Okay, so well, like I told you before, you have this number here, three three is three, 
So uh, three interesting Russian books. So the genitive plural, the adjective has to be, the adjective will go into genitive plural, as you can see, in tedious not, in tedious, in tedious ni, is now it's in tedious nich. That's the genitive plural. Ruski, ruskich. That's the genitive plural, the adjective. All right? And then the genitive singular, uh, masculine and neuter, you have what? Kanigi, did he have Kanigi, Kanigi. Now, this Kanigi, this is a bit tricky because um, we're going to talk about this in another video, but like when you, if it was like five or anything above five, then it will be Kanig. It, it won't be Kanigi, but it would just be Kanig. You would just drop off the E. It must be some sort of special case. Okay, but now we're talking, we're dealing with numbers less than five, so it will be Kanigi. All right? And uh, yeah, so um, what else we have here? Okay, let's look at the last one. Okay, so now we have here, we use one again. Okay, so uh, let me read it first. All right, so unas, okay, unas yes adna no vaya kniga, no umoy brat yes, yeah, umoy brat yes, tisacha, tisacha biasot, dvatset adna no vaya kniga, unas yes adna no vaya kniga. No umoy brat yest tisacha tisacha yeah, tisacha biasot dvatset adna novaya kaniga. So we have one new book, but my brother, yeah, we have one new book, but my brother has a thousand five hundred and twenty one books. Okay, so as you can see here in the first part, unas yes adna novaya kaniga. We have one book, so adna, it, like I told you before, this ad, the adin agrees, it's an adjective, right? it's an adjective, so we talk about kaniga as a feminine, so adna novaya kaniga, okay, one new book, and that's just talking about one book, okay, now when I, when I, now when I say 1,521 books, no moi brat, no moi brat, yes, tisacha, biasa dvatset, adna novaya kaniga, now, um you notice that uh there is not although the number is big maybe i should have said this before but although the number although it's 1521 what's going to happen is if that number ends with a one it's going to act as one okay i hope that makes sense so if you see like for example let's see tisacha biasut dvatset atna Novaya Kaniga. See, as you can see, Novaya Kaniga, that's just talking that's just talking about one. You see, let's look at Adna Novaya Kaniga. That's just one new book. So you'll probably think that, oh, it's a thousand over a thousand. Shouldn't that be shouldn't that be uh shouldn't it be different? No, it's not gonna be different because anytime you have look at them as compounds, you have one, two, three, and four. If you have thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four. 31 that the compound one you have one there 33 three it's the compound three it's going to act as one it's the, it's just it's not going to change it's going to act as the same okay so if it ends with one if it ends with one it's going to act as one okay so uh, 1521 ends with one so that that's why that's why it's now uh, that's why it's still Adna Novaya Kaniga, just like the first one. It's the same because it's acting as one. So before we had one new book, and now we have a thousand, or my brother has a thousand five hundred and twenty-one books. Okay? So I hope that makes sense. I know it's it, that's what's tough about Russian. They have so many rules. So this is good for me. And this and you guys out there learning with me, you learning Russian. I, know so I'm not saying I'm gonna be perfect but I like to make I like to do this I like to make these videos because um, I find a good I find a good good practice and other people who are learning Russian they may find a video useful I mean despite mistakes it's, everything is not going to be wrong there's going to be some mistakes but it's not going to be completely 
they're not gonna, not be not going to, the whole thing is not going to be with the errors. So uh, there's going to be some good things here in vocabulary, and you learn from these native speakers correctly. So uh, I will advise you guys, those of you who are learning a language, especially a difficult language like Russian, put some videos up and just acknowledge the fact that you're not, you know, you tell people what you're doing so they won't take it the wrong way. Okay. So this is going to conclude the video here, and um, this was pretty lengthy, but like I said before, it's, if you guys are learning Russian, and you're learning, I think it's worth watching, okay? So um, yeah, that's going to conclude this video here, and uh, I look forward to the comments, and um, yeah, if you guys have any questions or corrections, I look forward to those, and uh, uh, thanks for viewing the video.